Hi, betting experts. On Friday, October the 9th, first of all, look back at our two bets at air on Thursday, and we move on to new market on Friday, the start of a two-day meeting with the Cesaro, which is the highlight of Saturday. Really competitive and informative racing. We start off with our value angle selection in the 150. This is the New Market Academy Godolphin Beacon Project Cornwallis Stakes. Over five furlongs, a gra- Group 3, Class 1, two-year-olds only. It's attracted an 11-runner field. It's a fascinating race on the prevailing soft ground. And I'm going to take a chance on Marco Botti's Atalis Bay making the jump up from Handicap Company into Group Class for the first time. Now, this one has run four times so far, starting off only on the 13th of July. So, being kept really busy. A promising first run at Windsor and then off the mark at Windsor and heavily backed, storming clear by over four lengths from Olympic Theatre. That form's worked out well. He was then workmanlike when landing a short price at Kempton in a small field, just four runners, but did improve, I thought, for tackling softer ground at Haydock last time out, edging out Blind Beggar and Tweet Tweet off a mark of 93. I think that run deserves extra credit. If you watch it back, he was with the leader on his own on the near side rail, um, which didn't help matters. That things developed over on the other side of the track. So he did really well to respond to pressure to get back up inside the final furlong, running on extremely strongly for Stefano Church, who took off five pounds. And obviously, this is a big jump up in glass. And on the figures, he's got five, six, seven pounds to... Fine, with plenty of the front ones, but he goes well on soft ground. At Zaney's back in the saddle. He's tough. He's proven. Um, he's a strong stare at five furlongs. And I don't think the gap between Handicap Company and these group races is all that much, particularly in the sprint division. At double figures, I'm happy to be, have him on side. For our nap of the day, we go to the opening 115. This is the Godolphin under starters orders. Maiden Philly stakes. Over seven furlongs, two-year-olds only, class three, 11 runners here. And I think this is a really good opportunity for Brian Meehan's Belazada to get off the mark at the third attempt. Meehan's going reasonably well. He's had a couple of winners in the last fortnight from just 13 runners. David Egan's booked. Uh, and this filly has run twice. And I do like the fact that her first effort was over seven furlongs here on soft ground when third at 50 to one behind Ashari in a strong Phillies novice stakes that, um, albeit beaten um, over six lengths. But if you watch the run back, she missed the break. She was clueless. She was sent off 50 and finished really strongly to take third. Never a factor, but it was an extremely eye-catching run. And you have to bear in mind that all of means improved dramatically run to one for gathering more racing experience she then went to lingfield completely different conditions firmish ground there um, over nearly a mile um, dropped out rather tapped on the fast ground but finishing with running left again she's very much a stayer now she's back at a bare seven furlongs here but the soft ground at hq will suit her i think a more positive ride is on the cards with egan in the plate and loads of these rivals are going to be ridden with an eye on the future they're likely to need the run it's a back end maiden they'll be thinking of next season and i think that this filly is probably right for now she's proven she's a stayer a positive ride from egan and she could be really hard to beat best of luck on friday betting experts